So we are starting this FM career at Portsmouth Football Club, trying to get them back into the big time. Obviously, this is a club that is rich in history, and you can tell by the amount of trophies that they have won. But let's have a look at the side now. We've got some decent players. Bishop, always a good player. Alex Robertson, up and coming. Marlon Pack, that championship experience. Regan Paul, one of the best centre-backs in the league. So there's some players to work with. Obviously, Abu Kamara, White, Scully, they're all decent. But obviously, we cannot make any signings this window, so we're going to go straight into the first game. Into the first game of the season now. A bit of a boring first half there. Not a lot happening, and we go in at nil-nil. And a free kick now. Cole Bishop on it. Bishop lays off to Kamara. Riley Towler puts it away, and it's the first goal of the season. And Riley Towler puts it away. And EFL's reign at Portsmouth starts off with a huge three points. The start of hopefully a very successful tenure. This goal sealed our fate in the cup as we lost 6-5 against Reading. And we needed a response to keep our league performances up. And a response we got. An emphatic display from the boys at the Memorial Ground. Saw us run out 5-0 winners here. And I was absolutely delighted with the boys, especially as we back this up with a 3-0 win against Cheltenham. However, on to the old nemesis, and it did not start well. But Andrin got us back level, and a goal in pretty late stages saw us beat Charlton at the Valley. Colby Bishop with his magic hat, and that was a fantastic performance. On to Blackburn, where Gavin White just put us one up in a top-of-the-table clash. And before half-time... Anthony Scully managed to make it 2-0 and we were cruising. However, this goal in the 68th minute made things a little bit tasty. The first mistake from new goalkeeper Matt Macy. But we ended up winning 2-1 and it was looking okay. On to Oxford now where that was not ideal. And it's getting late now and it's 2-1. Who can we turn to? Colby Bishop keeps us top of league and it was a 2-all draw in fantastic style in the end. And we'll absolutely take that. However, after a couple of wins in between that game, this happened. Despite going 1-0 up, Wigan just kept scoring and scoring and scoring. And we lost that game 3-1. But after a win against Shrewsbury and going 1-0 up here, things were looking up again. However, we have just given away a penalty and it is even. This isn't good either. And we find ourselves 2-1 down. There's only one man we can turn to, Abu Kamara. Goal, 2-2 within minutes of coming on. Can he find himself in the right position again? He does. 3-2. A brace within 10 minutes beyond the pitch. He gets the ball again here. Lays it out to Marlon Pack. Who puts it away? It's two goals and assists. Surely he can't do anything else in this game. Regan Paul. 5-2. Abu Kamara hat-trick. And then in the next game, he gets his goal again. However, it wasn't to be against Leighton Orient. As they went and equalised here. And then it was like football poetry. As Joe Piggott, a man who couldn't get a game at Pompey, scores the winner. And things did not look any better in the next game as Wickham took a very early lead. But Tino Andrin had something to respond with, with a fantastic penalty. And just as the game looked like it was going to be a draw, Colby Bushop stuck it in the net. And now we head to present day. As you can see, we sit top of the league, but only just as Blackpool are one point behind us and have a game in hand. So we cannot afford to drop points here. On to Peterborough now, who have a chance to put some of their wrongdoings to right this game, as they've had a pretty poor season by their standards, as they find themselves just outside the relegation zone. Towler gets it gone. It's not looking good. Capriano, oh my god, it's a hell of a goal from Hector Capriano. Bishop now, Colby Bishop, can we respond quickly? Paddy Lane, still Paddy Lane. Paddy Lane scores, and it's a fantastic goal from the boys, as we level things up here at London Road. Regan Paul has it now, plays out to Joe Rafferty. Joe Rafferty with a delightful ball in. It's a penalty. Get in. Who's going to take it? Abu Kamara. Looks like it will be him. Run down the road for me. Abu Kamara puts us 2-1 up. It's his eighth league goal of the season. And he always scores at important times. It's a good ball in. Paddy Lane out to Pack. Ogilvy. Back to Pack. Ogilvy. Lane's got it. It's Fortino and in. What a goal. And it's 3-1 to Pompey. Get in. What a fantastic turnaround this has been so far. Let's keep this pressure up and not let them score from kickoff here, which would be a, a bit of a shame. Adjaboy plays it back to Emmanuel. 
And your boy, Clark Harris scores, but it's offside. The Lino's got the flag up, and it stays 3-1. Chance here, Towler knocks down to Robertson, who's just come on the pitch. Joe Raffi, Gavin White, it's the substitute, and they've linked up to score here and put us 4-1 up. The game looks to be running out here, and it has, and we win 4-1 here, away from home. Fantastic work from the boys. So we kick off things with a 2-0 win in the first round of the FA Cup over Grimsby. And then we have a slight little little dip in the road against Fleetwood as we uh, had a shock defeat here against a side that are doing surprisingly well considering how poor they've been in real life. But back to winning ways. Or, or is it? As Derby find themselves 2-1 up here. But Kamara equalises. We've gone 3-2 up here. Can we make a change in the second half? 3-3. Three, three. We push him for the winner here. It's 4-3. Can we seal the game now? Yes, we can. Scully makes it 5-3. And now this was the only goal in the game against Burton Albion. And now in round two of the FA Cup here against Fleetwood, who've just beaten us, by the way. This is more like it. Can we suddenly turn things around here? As Port Vale are giving us a bit of a game here, surely this will be the winner we have scored. Is there time for Port Vale to equalise? It looks like there is, and it is finished to all here. But back to winning ways against Leighton Orient, surely. No, again, we have drawn. Cambridge, oh, surely they can't be that good. And we've now lost. Oh, no, it's okay. We've managed to get back on level terms here. Let's just keep it like this. or get a winner, and we're 2-1 down. And it's another loss this season. Surely we've got to start winning again at some point. We've gone 1-0 down early. We've equalised. Now don't let them score again. And we find ourselves 2-1 down here. Luckily, we managed to get a point and keep us top of the league. A brilliant start against Peterborough. A tougher side on paper, but we are making light work of them so far. See, this is where the issues start. However, we have put ourselves back into a two-goal advantage. That's three goals. That is three points surely secured here. OK, we may have made it slightly tougher for ourselves, but it's 4-2 nonetheless. And a 1-0 win against Exeter away in the Cup. Now, this is the 1-0 win in the league. Unfortunately, we lost last time out, but hoping to get back to winning ways away at the LNER Stadium here. Kamara now driving forward with it. Can we get a chance here? It's with the new signing, Garrett Robertson. Garrett Robertson, Kamara gets it in. Come on, 1-0. Fantastic start to this game. Abu Kamara... Well, it hasn't been a fantastic half of football, but we go into the break 1-0 up and we will absolutely take that. Sorensen. No, Tyler Walker, the ex-Pompey man, scores. And again, we're in this situation where they've levelled it up. And it's now about what we... Hang on a minute, we've got a chance here. Ogilvy, can we get a quick response here? Anthony Scully. Anthony Scully puts it away. 2-1. What a run there from Scully. A lovely bit of interplay and he finishes it off beautifully with a goal into the top right corner. And that is full time at the LNER Stadium. We'll take a 2-1 win and we will move on to the next game. So we kick things back off again against Bolton away from home. I didn't see this result coming, but a 5-1 demolition over League One Giants. I mean, considering the form we've been in at this point, I didn't see it coming. But it was a welcome surprise as we made light work of them especially as we had a huge FA Cup game coming up after this one. And here it is against Reading, where I thought it was going to be close because we had a couple of close battles with them this season, but a 3-1 demolition of them made it light work and into round five. And against Blackpool coming up next, this was the run we needed. And we went 2-0 down within 10 minutes. Now, this was not ideal, but up step Tino Andrew just come back from injury. There's his first goal, and here's his second goal. So it's 2 all in 20 minutes. And then he gets the ball again just before half-time. Puts us 3-2 up. However, this was not quite enough as Blackpool hit back and it was looking like it was going to be a draw. And then Alex Robertson, the substitute, made it 4-3 and helped win us the game. This game against Derby ended 1-0 and then we bring you to present day. Now, after a fairly good run of form, we have the FA Cup round of 16 here. We are at home against Leicester. It's going to be a tough one. No, this doesn't look good. This is not looking good. And it's a goal and it's unlucky. Head up, boys. We need to lift it. It's unlucky. Kamara. Christian Sadie. Why? Kamara scores. Get in. It's an equaliser. By looks like it goes, to, it goes to straight to penalties. Right. Well, we have a penalty shootout against Leicester to stay in the cup. Kamara scores. Cassidy. 
Oh, I thought Matt Macy saved it. Captain Pack misses. It's a long way back from here. Harry Winks versus Matt Macy. Winks scores. Gavin White scores his penalty. We need Daka to miss here. And Matt Macy saves it. Christian Sadie now. He scores. Eunice versus Macy. Oh, it goes down the middle. Pressure penalty for Connor Shocknessy. And he hits the post. And it's heartbreak by the looks of things. Unless Matt Macy can save it. And he doesn't. And it's absolute heartbreak for Pompey. Now, bear in mind that I haven't got all the games in here. And there were a couple of games that we did win around this point. However, you could start to see the pressure taking its toll on the players here. As our form took another massive dip as we went into some crucial games. This game against high-flying Fleetwood ends up being an absolute goal fest. With both sides taking the lead at some point during the game. But neither side being able to take all three points and after this game we had two wins and then this game which was Charlton and you know we know what they're like when they come to front and they never lose and they didn't lose here uh, it was a fantastic game of football we never actually took the lead though so we can be happy with the point that we got here as a couple of own goals uh, and a couple of equalizers for us led to a point apiece and pressure on this game which we did not handle very well as we went down 2-0 and didn't really put up much of a fight here. So in dire need of a win, we went to Stevenage and we did just that. Putting three goals past them, taking a bit of the pressure off these last three games. But they were not going to be easy and we didn't make them easy. We went into the last three games of the season eating just four points for the title. It is the biggest game of the season so far as we face Exeter in a game that could seal us the title. Towler, Garrett. Robertson, Alex Robertson scores and we are one step closer to promotion. And put one foot into the championship. Colby Bishop scores after not scoring for about a month. He scores in a massive game for the club. Swanson, Gavin White and it's safe to say we will be playing EFL Championship football next season. So if Cambridge United can get one more. We will be tied to where's Colby Bishop makes it 4-0. And this has got shades of Cheltenham 6-1. Oh, Ryan Trevitt scores. Gavin White. Colby Bishop. Anthony Scully. Alex Robertson scores and makes it 5-1 to Pompey. Desperate for it. Oh, no, no, no. It's ruined it. It's ruined the hopes of a 6-1. Well, we are going to be playing in the championship next season. And we are one point away I'm not even bothered. It's offside again. We are one point away from winning the title. We are at Vale Park now with a huge game. If we win this, we will win the title. Actually, we need a point to win the title. That is all it takes. Charlton are 1-0 up. It is absolutely huge news that is filtering through to Vale Park. And could we double down on this with a goal here? Pay lane misses. But as it stands... No matter what happens in that other game. Oh, and Marlon Pack's just seen red. It's all kicking off in here. As it stands, we will win the league. However, things have been made slightly harder by Pack getting sent off. And we're 1-0 down here in a crucial game. We don't want this coming down to the last game of the season. And to make things worse, Derby have just equalised. Oh, and it's all gone wrong. Connor Hurrahane has just scored for Derby County. Five minutes ago here at Vale Park. As it stands, it will go down to the last game of the season. And it's 2-0. Not looking likely, though. It is looking like we will have to play one more game. Alex Robertson has got us back into this one, though. Can we still win it? And it will come down to the final game of the season. For the final time this season, it is match day. And all we need is a point to secure the title. Hang on a minute. There's noise filtering around the grounds. Look, Derby have gone 1-0 down. This is absolutely huge for us, as if they go and lose against Bristol Rovers, we will win the league regardless. As it stands, Pompey will win the title. And this has just thrown a spanner in the works. Bolton are 1-0 up here. Back here through Connor Ogilvy. Tom Lowry. Rafferty saved by Carson. Tom Lowry whips the ball in. Towler, Christian Sadie, it's his first goal in the season and what a time to score it. 
as it stands. It doesn't matter what happens at the Memorial Ground. Things could get better here for Pompey still. Ogilvy, good ball in. Oh, unlucky. Go on, Rafferty. Gavin White with it. Sadie, Rafferty. Rafferty driving. Oh, just goes wide. Robertson, Alex Robertson. Christian Sadie again. What a performance from the substitute. He's bagged to ice. And that goal will surely seal it. And Derby have equalised, but it doesn't matter because we are the title winners of Skybet League One. We've worked hard all season for this, and let's just enjoy this moment as skipper Regan Paul picks up the trophy because suspended Marlon Pack is out of the squad. Here we go. Ooh. Yes! Get in! Come on! Champion is champion is ole, ole, ole. As you can see, the final table here. We have us, obviously, top of the league. Derby second, but all the way down in seventh is Blackpool. Now, that is a shock, considering for a lot of the season, it was us versus them for the title. Obviously, Fleetwood. Now, that is a major surprise. Them coming as high as third. And the lower-end shocks, Wickham and possibly Shrewsbury Town. I mean, how on earth have they finished below the likes of Stevenage and Carlisle? I will never know. But that was a fantastic season and we will wait to see who joins us in the championship next year. So what a roller coaster of a season that was. If you want to see the next episode out by next week, make sure to smash a like on the video and hit subscribe so you don't miss it when it comes out. And I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>